And that is Corey Kowalski. He's in with Jeff McCann. The Kowalskis are from Ohio. Jeff McCann from North Carolina. Very diverse group out there. And the Peters and Mabo, Azam Ali, he is actually racing in the London circuit as well, the UK circuit as well. You see the boats now dove into the inside. That's boat number 51. The Ocala Grand Prix boat. George Ariano and John Hansen. Looks like the next boat through there was Mandingo Bay. So one thing throwing that dog leg in there does is when you go around the turns, if you're just at an oval, if you're on the inside lane, you're in the inside lane. As soon as you have to go to that inside, uh, make that right hand turn, you're now no longer on the inside lane necessarily, unless you're ahead. The mountain people comes around chasing down with Miss Madison boat. Miss Madison boat has actually a pair of brothers in the boat, Blake and Rock Robin. And there's also a pair of brothers in the Mandingo Bay boat. That is Kevin and Brian. And that boat. The other thing you'll see tomorrow is we will do qualifying very much like you saw today with the Inland and Hyder Plains where they'll go around the course top speed. We'll pick their lane position for the Sunday race. First thing off tomorrow, though, we will have our round eight, which will finish up one of the rounds that we had in North Carolina two weeks ago. Now the controls they have available to them on these boats are they can trim the engine in and out. They can also trim it up and down with a jack plate. Now the jack plate only gives them about an inch of overall travel because the engines are completely stock. They have standard lower units on them with standard lower water pickups. So if you run the jack plate up too high, all of a sudden you have no water pressure. And as guys are playing, trying to find extra speed, you're going to see that they'll jack the motor up. They jack the motor up too far, they lose water pressure. Water pressure will turn the motor into safety mode. It'll shut down to 1,500 RPM maximum. And then all of a sudden, you're not going anywhere. You're getting passed by people. Looks like the Peters and Mayboat, actually, that uh, Miss Madison looked like they stopped right on the inside of that right-hand dog leg. That is a boat that has Jim Barlow in it with Azam Ali. But for the rest of the weekend, uh, there will be Azam Ali and Kyle Sandborn on that boat. Mountain Dew is with Jim Arvis and Mike Sadler. Again, the Miss Madison boat is Blake and Brock Grotten. Take it to Boca Runs. You pop the cowl off the back and you actually have 
back seats in it. Now the last race these guys ran in Morgan City, North Carolina, they ran clockwise with a single engine outboard, particularly one that turns clockwise, the engine turns clockwise as far as the propeller rotation, they turn a little bit better to the right. Now they're having to work against the propeller torque, so they're having to work a lot harder on the boats. There is no doubt that they're enjoying the dog leg because the boat will really turn well to the right as they make their way around each dog leg. Our understanding is that we're going to shorten this uh, test session just a little bit so that we don't impact the drag ropes happening on the other end. Although these boats don't make too much of a wake, it doesn't take much of a wake for a guy to get uh, a little bit of trouble at over 200 miles an hour on the water. Yeah. 
get involved in power ball racing on the other side. Get you out of the water instead of watching a couple of shows. There's George D. Arriato and Mark Hansen from Ocala, Thank you.